So are you a business owner who is manually adding the customer data to your CRM software application? So this video is for you all. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add leads from the Google Forms to Pipedrive CRM software application automatically. So let's take an example that you are a business owner and you are using Google Forms to capture the leads. Now you want that whenever the customer fills the Google Form, automatically the details of the customer should be added as a person into your Pipedrive CRM account. For this, we need to create a connection between Google Forms and Pipedrive. So in order to create a connection between both these software applications, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process on my screen. So to start the integration, let us type pabbly pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. By clicking on this option, you will get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow like this. For that, click on this plus sign and click on create workflow. Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Google Forms Pipedrive CRM Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever the Google Forms are submitted, automatically the details of the customer should be added as a new contact into your Pipedrive CRM account. For that, open this trigger window. Here in the choose application, let us find Google Forms. In the trigger event, we have to select new response received. Now here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions are also mentioned. So by following these instructions, you can set up the webhook in your Google Forms. Let us read some of them. Google Form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So follow the below steps in order to get the new response. Switch to Responses tab, click on Create Spreadsheet icon and we have to just create an integration using this particular webhook. For that, I'll just take you to my Google Forms. So these are the Google Forms which I have created in my account. Here we are going to use this registration form. I'm just going to open it. Here I'm taking the basic details of the customer like the name, email address, phone number, age and address. Okay. So here when we go to the responses tab, here we can find zero responses. So to fill up the response, click on this preview button. The form will get open. And now we are going to fill up the details so that we can capture the response. Let us fill the name as Shikha Arya, email address as Shikha Arya, 22 at the rate gmail.com. Let's add the phone number. Let's add the age as 25 and address as E4234, Arera Colony. Bhopal. Okay, I'll just add MP also. Okay, so we have filled up the form. Now let's click on submit. Okay, your response has been recorded. So the form has been filled. Let's move back to the Google form. Here in the responses tab, we can find one response from Shikha Arya. Now we want this particular response in Google Sheet. For that, click on this three dots. And here we can find select response destination option. Click on it. Here it is asking to create a new spreadsheet or you want to select the existing spreadsheet. So I want to create a new spreadsheet and the name would be registration form responses. So here you can change the name of the spreadsheet 
Okay, I want the same name, so I'm not making any changes. And let's click on create. Spreadsheet is linked. Okay, now in order to access the spreadsheet, we have to click on this green sign, view responses in sheets. Click on it. Okay, and here we can find that all the details of the customer are captured in this particular Google Sheet. Name as Shikha Arya, email address, phone number, age as well as the address. Now we are going to create an integration between this particular Google Sheet and Pabli Connect so that whenever the form is filled and whenever the response is captured in Google Sheet, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. Okay, for that click on the extensions and click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Click on it. Now here you have to install Pabli Connect Webhooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed on my system. I am just going to close this window. But remember after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. I repeat, after installing Pabli Connect Webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. Now once the Google Sheet is refreshed, we have to come to Extensions and this time come to Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Now here it is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. So this will be the same webhook URL which we have seen in Pabli Connect. So let's move to Pabli Connect. From here we are going to copy this webhook URL and we will be pasting the same URL in the initial setup webhook URL option. Okay. Now here we have to give the trigger column. So let us read the instructions. The trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. Okay, so here you can see that I have the data from column A till column F. So my trigger column will be column F over here. Okay, say if you have the data till column G and you want the data to be captured till column G, then your trigger column will be column G over here. Okay, let's click on send test. Test data sent successfully. Okay, and let's click on submit. So here we can see that we have created the integration. Now again come to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks and this time click on send on event option. Why we are selecting this option? Just because next time whenever the form is filled and whenever the response is captured in Google Sheet, automatically the details will be captured in Google, Pabli Connect because of the send on event option. So make sure you have a tick mark on the send on event option. Okay, now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And here when we scroll down, we can find that the responses received and all the details of the customer through the form submission are captured over here. Name, email address, phone number, age, address, spreadsheet name, sheet name and all other details are captured. Okay. So now we want that using these details of the customer, automatically a new person or a new contact should get created into your Pipedrive CRM account. So come to this action window. Here in the choose application, let us find Pipedrive. In the action event, we have to select create person, click on connect, click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the API token. Let us read the instructions. You can find the API token by login to your Pipe Drive account. After login, go to the settings, personal, personal preferences, API. Okay, so I'll just directly take you to my Pipe Drive account. So this is the contact page of my Pipe Drive account. Here we'll be moving to the profile option and click on personal preferences and here we can find the API option. Click on it and here we can find the API key. So if you want to generate a new key, API key, you can generate it by clicking on generate new token button or else I'm just going to copy this API key from here. I'll be pasting the same API key here in Pabli Connect and let's click on save. Okay, now the Pipe Drive account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the name, owner, organization and all other details. So we have to map all these details now, which we have already received from the Google form submission. So let us map them one by one. Here we have to map the name from Google Forms. We don't have the owner name and the organization name, so I'm just leaving it as blank. Here we have to map the email address. Here we have to map the phone number. Okay, if you want to give the label option ID, you can map it over here. 
here you have to select the visibility uh, whether you want to vis make it visible to only owner or owner's visibility group or entire company so i'm making it as entire company you can select it as per your requirement and simply click on save and send test request okay and here we can see the responses received and the details of the customer are added to the pipe drive crm account let's check it here we have to move to the contact section and here we can find a new contact named Shikha Arya and here we can find the email address and along with that the phone number. So in this way we can see that our integration is working and the Google form responses are getting added as a new contact to the Pipedrive CRM account. Let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now we have to check this in the real time whether our integration is working fine or not. For that, we have to go to the Google form once again. I'm just going to refresh it so that we can fill in the form on the name of some other customer. Let's give the name as Adam Smith. Let's add the email address as Adam Smith123 at the rate gmail.com. Let's add the phone number. Let's add the age as 30 and the address as em15 in this town new market bhopal okay and let's click on submit your response has been recorded okay so the form has been filled now we have to check our pipe drive crm account and here we can find a new contact named Adam Smith is added as a new person or a new contact here in our Pipedrive CRM account. Okay, here we can find the email address as well as the phone number. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Forms and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details whenever the new response was received through the Google Form submission and using the details of the customer through the form submission, automatically a new person was created into your Pipedrive CRM account. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Google Forms and Pipedrive using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.